my two daughters, Elena and Kaylee, and, and I uh, made this coloring book together because Kaylee, who was four at the time, had somehow developed a little bit of a fear about chemicals. She would get a little skeptical eating new foods because maybe they had chemicals in them. I spent some time trying to talk her out of this and showed her her favorite dessert or ice cream or whatever it was and showed her that these were made of chemicals. The organic coloring. It's, that's me, that's Elena, that's that. Because they like to color it and the natural thing to do was to think about making a coloring book. But that was a really nice way to do a little bit of chemistry and expose my kids to it. Sucrose makes this blueberry right here sweet. And also, it makes blueberries, this like deep purplish bluish color, is cyanidin. Actually in this coloring book. Ew. She's holding blueberries and she's getting ready to eat them. We avoid teaching students organic chemistry until they're some point in college, but I think the abstract nature of organic chemistry, it's not something that young people can't pick up. And these are things that are sound like they're pretty tough, but kids are very creative and it's not beyond the realm for them to understand some very, very basic things. Yeah, but I, I would say my kids have probably picked up a little bit more than the average child when it comes to organic chemistry.